My name is Ashley Stokes, and I am the Seacoast Science Center Marine Mammal Rescue Manager. And this little guy is Belmont. Belmont the Harbor Seal was the Marine Mammal Rescue Team's first official rescue in 2014, and is the namesake of our program's mascot. Belmont was just a newborn, abandoned by his mother, likely due to human and canine interaction. After four months of care at a rehabilitation facility, Belmont was successfully returned home, back to the ocean. As you may know, prior to the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972, seals were hunted, almost to the brink of extinction. But thanks to legislation and a national network of rescue organizations, populations are rebounding. The Seacoast Science Center Marine Mammal Rescue Team responds to an average of 110 cases in New Hampshire and northern Massachusetts each year. With only one full-time and three part-time staff members and a consulting veterinarian, we rely heavily on our dedicated group of MMR volunteers. The Marine Mammal Rescue staff responds to every caller's report of a marine mammal that has hauled out or stranded on the shore, live or dead. If the animal is deceased, we collect data and photos, necropsy when feasible, and record the information in a national, federally managed database. Oftentimes, we respond to healthy seals that have simply come up on the beach to rest. First, our field responder sets a perimeter to keep both the animal and the beachgoers safe. Then, we stand by to monitor the seal and to educate people about what they should do and not do when they see an animal on the beach and how they can support our marine mammal rescue work. Data on all cases we physically handle are also submitted to the national database to track health trends for the species, which in turn indicates the health status of our ocean. If a seal is resting in a heavily populated area, we may tag or use a paint stick to ID it before relocating it to an isolated spot to hopefully avoid further human interaction. If we determine that a seal is in need of rehabilitation, the first step we take is to secure a spot at a regional rehabilitation facility. Before transporting the animal, we conduct a full health assessment. This includes examining the seal for signs of injury or infection, collecting blood samples, cleaning any wounds, and administering oral and IV fluids and electrolytes to help sustain them for the trip. The ultimate goal for each animal in rehabilitation is for it to regain health and be returned to the wild. When a young pup has reached a minimum weight of 50 pounds and has learned to eat fish on its own, or a sick or injured seal has overcome its ailments and is off all medications, it's ready to be released. Here's Mac. Mac is a male harp seal that was rescued off the beach in February. An ice seal, Mac was eating sand and rocks, mistaking them for snow. After four weeks of treatment to overcome severe hydration, an eye infection, parasites, and the rock and sand ingestion, he was fit, fat, and ready to return to the sea and was released right back here in New Hampshire. While marine mammal protection is federally mandated, federal funding for the work is very limited and highly competitive. That means the Seaco Science Center must raise most of the funds to operate its marine mammal rescue program. We rely on contributions from the community to stay ready to respond, not only to our average number of cases, but also unusual events such as a large whale on shore or a mass mortality event. Thank you in advance for supporting the Seacoast Science Center Marine Mammal Rescue Program with your tax deductible donation. You can stay up to date with our team's work on Facebook. There, you can find photos and follow the progress of cases like Bella's. Found in grave condition with a severe facial wound, Bella's remarkable story of survival is just one of the many reasons why, with your help, we can continue to advocate for these amazing marine mammals.